Older men will get a younger woman's attention by doing this, age gaps. Leave your like on the video my love and if you are new to the channel subscribe to receive new advice, do this to help the channel continue to grow. A young woman will get to a certain age and start to notice her attraction to guys will start to shift. All of a sudden, an older guy like her friend's dad or maybe even her dad's friends will spark her interest, and she might be thinking, oh, what is this attraction? This will be because as we grow up, we start to realize that maybe guys our age aren't what we are looking for, and the characteristics in older men are more what we are looking for in a relationship. Now, I know some older guys find younger women more attractive than women within their age group, and well, this is awesome for both parties, but maybe it's a little bit daunting to step out of your comfort zone and test the waters with the younger ladies. Do you feel a little bit out of your depth when it comes to knowing what younger ladies are looking for in a partner? Now, I get it, I understand, and don't worry, we've had a look into this for you. We've highlighted a few things that the ladies are looking for in an older man and some things that you can do to increase your chances if you are looking to date a younger lady. Let's dive in. Like and subscribe. Sometimes, simply because you are older than them, you've already gained some points, so well done. But we've also added the below tips and tricks to the roster so you can have a fair go at the game and maybe score some touchdowns. These few things that you can incorporate into your dating profile to catch their eyes and have them coming to you. And the very first one is to be mature. Now, it has been said that the male brain does not actually mature until the sweet age of 42 years old, and for any women dating someone their age, well, this is actually the worst thing to hear. We don't date men to feel like we are babysitting someone's son, we want a partner, not a child. So simply put, if you are older than the girl that you are dating, then she is probably loving life because you can make conscious decisions on your own without her having to drag the information out of you like dragging blood out of a stone. Impossible and extremely frustrating. Besides the fact that you are older than her, there are some other ways that you can display your maturity, and the very first thing you can do is to stop texting her all the time. Although some women like to be in constant conversation, it can become increasingly suffocating to keep up the conversation and think of things to talk about, especially if you're busy. Communicate. I know this can seem like a really simple thing to do, but younger men find it hard to communicate about anything and everything. If you can communicate your feelings, what you're thinking, and what you would like to happen throughout the relationship, then this is a breath of fresh air. This is also a massive point of arguments. No one likes to scream and shout at their partner, and most of the time, it starts because, well, one person hasn't been open with the other person, and that's on the lines of communication. So the more that you communicate before things do get heated, the less you are going to argue, and that saves a lot of stress for both parties. Plan dates. The issue with young men is that they are more interested in hanging out with their friends or playing on their boxes and playstations rather than planning a date. You can put yourself ahead of the game by putting in some effort and planning a date or two from start to finish. It can be as simple as an evening meal or something adventurous that excites you both. The thoughtfulness behind it is what counts, women love effort. Marriage. Older guys give the stereotype that they are open to marriage and are not afraid to settle down unlike the boys. This aspect is a good deal breaker for a lot of younger girls. We don't want to feel like we are wasting our time dating somebody who doesn't see a future or someone that isn't open to building one either. The idea that older men have been in long-term relationships or even married before is a sense of security for younger girls that this idea hasn't been written off before anything has had that chance to blossom. So if you have been married previously and you are not looking to go down the aisle again, please make sure to let the ladies know before they start planning their dress and bridesmaids in their head because trust me it will save you both a lot of stress down the line. Dress well. Older men can wear nice clothes and instantly capture the attention of any woman, especially younger girls. All the ladies swoon at the sight of a man in a suit, and we all know an older man who wears a suit radiates dominance and power, something younger women love. We know you can't always wear a suit, but don't worry, there are some staple pieces that you can add to your wardrobe. The very first thing is a nice pair of shoes. A pair of shoes can say a lot about a person, holes, well, it means you don't take care of yourself, loafers, oh well, you are fancy, and trainers, well, it means you like sports. Also, you need to own some bootcut jeans. No, I'm kidding, please throw them out. If you're not a skinny jeans type of man, that's fine, but as you get older, you prefer comfort over style, and jeans are not meant to swallow your ankles and shoes up when you are walking. Jumpers. Wearing a nice jumper can make you look more attractive. 
This also gives younger girls the impression that you are cuddly and approachable. Try to stick to solid colors rather than pattern jumpers though, patterns can be a lot for the eyes sometimes. Watches Wearing a nice watch not only makes you look dominant and well put together, but it also gives those girls a reason to look at your wrist and hands. Younger girls love nice hands and forearms, so anything you do and where to draw attention to these areas is a great idea. Be approachable. Young women can find men intimidating, and older men are no exception to this either. The older you are, the fewer girls will think you will be interested in them because of that age difference. Although you cannot walk around with a sign that says, hey, I'm approachable, come and talk to me, because, well, that would be pretty weird, there are some things that you can do to give off this impression. You can smile, a nice smile can be a welcoming invitation to anybody you speak to. They are also very contagious, has there ever been a time someone has walked past and smiled at you and without thinking you've smiled back? No, because it's a mirroring reaction. Eye contact. Glancing over a lovely lady a few times shows her that you've noticed her and that you are interested in starting up a conversation. Also, when in conversation, if you hold eye contact, it shows you are actively listening to what she has to say, which is a massive yes when it comes to dating. Don't cross your arms. Body language is a big indicator of whether a conversation is going well. Even those who aren't involved in the chat will be able to tell. Crossing your arms over your chest has been said to show you are closed off and not comfortable in a situation. If you are uncomfortable, then a woman will pick up on this and start to feel uncomfortable, and well, that's just awkward for the both of you. We understand that entering the dating world is a nerve-wracking thing to do, especially if you are looking for a lady who is younger than you. But don't think that you are out of your playing field and have no hope just because you are older. A lot of girls do dig the older guy for more than one reason. Displaying confidence is the key to success when it comes to getting noticed. It's like a beacon for all women to turn their heads when you walk down the street. The way that you carry yourself with those shoulders back, your chest out, smiling with your chin up, and how you dress can help build your confidence massively. The more confident you are, the more attention you will attract, especially with the younger girls. If you apply these tips and tricks to your routine and wardrobe, the ladies will be lining up to talk to you. We do not doubt it. If you've made it this far, my love, comment below with the word, 100%, or anything else to let me know, to confirm that you've received the knowledge from the video so far. For more interesting topics subscribe to the channel, let's continue. If a girl does this she's just pretending to ignore you, but really wants your attention. Hey there, it's Pamela Raquel. Have you ever found yourself scratching your head over a woman's hot and cold behavior? One minute she's all smiles and flirty banter, and then the next she's nowhere to be found. Well, you're not alone. In this video, we are diving deep into the secret signs that she's into you, even when she's pretending to ignore you. From the near yet far dance to the vanish routine, we'll decode her mixed signals and show you how to respond like a pro. By the end of this video, you will be equipped with the tools to read between the lines and turn her apparent aloofness into an opportunity for connection. So sit back, relax, and get ready to crack the code of her mysterious behavior. Trust me, you won't want to miss this. Near yet far. You're at your favorite coffee shop, and there she is again, that intriguing woman who always seems to be just a few tables away. It's like the universe is conspiring to put you in the same place at the same time, but there's just one problem, she never makes the first move. You've caught her glance in your way a few times, but whenever you try to catch her eye, she suddenly becomes fascinated by her phone or the menu board. It's like she's perfected the art of being near you without actually engaging. But here's the thing, this near yet far dance is often a sign that she's into you but is waiting for you to take the lead. She's orchestrating these coincidental encounters because she wants to be around you, but she's hoping you'll be the one to break the ice. So what's a guy to do? Simple. Next time you find yourself in close quarters, seize the moment and introduce yourself. A friendly, confident, hey there, I've seen you around here a lot lately. I'm John. Mind if I join you, can go a long way. Remember, when a woman is consistently in your orbit but not initiating contact, it's often because she's waiting for you to make the first move. So take a deep breath, summon your courage, and go for it. Chances are, she'll be thrilled that you did. Enthusiastic responses when you initiate. Picture this, you've finally mustered up the nerve to approach that mysterious woman who's been hovering on the periphery of your life. You drop a charming opening line, and suddenly it's like a switch has been flipped. 
Her cool demeanor melts away, replaced by a warm smile and an enthusiastic response. Where just moments ago she seemed aloof and unapproachable, now she's leaning in, hanging on your every word, and radiating genuine interest. It's like your simple hello was the key to unlocking her true feelings. When a woman goes from distant to engaged the moment you initiate contact, it's a clear sign that her aloofness was just an act. She wanted you to approach her but didn't want to seem too eager. Now that you've taken the bait, she's free to show you how much she enjoys your company. So what's the next step? Keep the momentum going. Match her energy, ask her about her interests, and let the conversation flow naturally. If she's responding with enthusiasm, it means she's been hoping you'd make a move. So don't disappoint her now. The unintended slip. You're hanging out with a group of mutual friends when you overhear her sharing a funny story. But wait, did she just mention your name? You perk up, listening closer, and realize that she's talking about you as if you were part of the story. Except you weren't even there. Caught off guard, she blushes and quickly tries to cover her tracks, but it's too late. The slip-up has been made, and it's clear that you've been on her mind even when you're not around. This unintended slip is a telltale sign that she's been thinking about you more than she's letting on. Your name is so intertwined with her thoughts that it just tumbles out even when you're not part of the conversation. So what do you do when you catch her in an unintended slip? Play it cool, but take note. You might casually say, oh, I don't think I was there for that, but it sounds hilarious. You'd have to fill me in sometime. By acknowledging the slip without making a big deal of it, you're showing her that you're paying attention to the subtext. And who knows? That, sometime, might just turn into a chance for you to create some new stories together. The glance and away game. You're out with your friends, enjoying a night on the town when you feel that unmistakable sensation of being watched. You scan the room, trying to locate the source, and there she is, that intriguing woman you've been crossing paths with lately. She's looking right at you, her gaze intense and focused. But the moment your eyes meet, she quickly glances away, as if she's been caught doing something she shouldn't. It's a dance of stolen glances and diverted gazes, a silent game of cat and mouse that leaves you both intrigued and confused. This glance and away game is a classic sign that she's interested in you but isn't quite ready to make her move. She wants to catch your attention but doesn't want to be too obvious about it. It's a way of gauging your interest while still maintaining an air of mystery. So how do you play along? The next time you catch her sneaking a glance, hold her gaze for just a moment longer than usual. Let a small, knowing smile play at the corners of your mouth, as if to say, I see you, and I'm intrigued. By engaging in this subtle form of visual flirtation, you're letting her know that you're picking up on her cues and that the attraction is mutual. And who knows? That brief moment of eye contact could be the spark that ignites something truly special. Her body language tells you. At a social event mingling with a group of people when you notice something interesting about her body language. Even though she's not talking to you directly, she seems to be oriented towards you. Her feet pointing in your direction and her torso angled your way. And then you notice something else. Every time you take a sip of your drink, she does the same. When you laugh at someone's joke, she laughs too. It's like she's subconsciously mirroring your actions even from across the room. These subtle body language cues are a powerful indication of her interest, even if she's not ready to approach you directly. Her non-verbal communication is speaking volumes. By facing towards you and mirroring your movements, she's signaling that you're the center of her attention, the person she's most attuned to in the room. So what's your next move? Start mirroring her right back. When she takes a sip, you take a sip. When she leans in to listen to someone, you do the same. By engaging in this subtle dance of body language, you're creating a sense of connection and rapport without even saying a word. And when the time feels right, use that connection to bridge the gap and start a conversation. With the groundwork already laid through your nonverbal communication, you'll find that the words flow easily and naturally, as if you've known each other for years. Warmth after coldness. You've been enjoying a fun, flirty rapport with her for a while now. The chemistry between you is electric and undeniable. But then, seemingly out of nowhere, she goes cold. Your texts go unanswered, your invitations are met with polite but firm declines, and when you do see her, she's distant and aloof. Just when you're about to write her off as a lost cause though, she surprises you. Suddenly, she's all warmth and smiles again, laughing at your jokes, 
touching your arm, and looking at you with that unmistakable sparkle in her eye. This hot and cold behavior can be confusing, but it's often a sign that she's grappling with her own feelings. Her coldness was likely a defense mechanism, an attempt to create distance and protect herself from the intensity of her growing attraction. But when she realized she couldn't fight it any longer, she let her true feelings shine through. So what do you do in the face of this sudden shift? Embrace it, but don't go overboard. Let her know that you're happy to have her warmth back in your life, but don't press too hard too fast. A simple, it's great to see you smiling again, or, I've missed our fun conversations, can acknowledge the challenge without overwhelming her. Remember, navigating the ups and downs of attraction is all part of the dance. Stay steady, stay positive, and trust that if the connection is real, you'll find the rhythm together in time. The sudden vanish. Things have been going swimmingly with your latest crush. The flirting is fun, the chemistry is off the charts, and you're starting to think that this could really be going somewhere. But then, just as you're about to suggest taking things to the next level, she pulls a disappearing act that would make Houdini proud. Suddenly, your texts go unread, your calls go straight to voicemail, and when you do manage to catch her in person, she's about as warm as a polar bear's toes. It's like all that wonderful connection you've been building has just evaporated into thin air. But here's the thing, this sudden vanish routine is often a calculated move on her part. She sensed that things were progressing quickly, and she wants to make sure that you're really invested before she lets herself fall any deeper. By pulling back, she's creating a sense of scarcity, hoping to reignite your pursuit and make you work just a little bit harder for her affection. So how do you handle the vanishing act? The key is to strike a balance. Let her know that you've noticed her absence and that you miss the fun you used to have together, but don't go overboard with the desperate pleas or grand gestures. A simple, hey stranger, I was just thinking about that great conversation we had last week. We should get together soon and pick up where we left off, can work wonders. If she continues to play hard to get, don't be afraid to mirror her actions. Pull back a little yourself, focus on your own life and interests, and let her wonder what you're up to. Sometimes, a little bit of reverse psychology is all it takes to snap her out of her disappearing act and remind her of what she's been missing. And if she doesn't come back around, well then maybe it's time to refocus your energy on someone who appreciates your steady, consistent presence. No magic tricks required. Now that you know her tactics, what's next for you? Discover what her body language is screaming or learn the hobbies that make you more attractive to women. If you've made it this far, my love, comment below with the word, 100%, or anything else to let me know, to confirm that you've received the knowledge from the video so far. For more interesting topics subscribe to the channel, let's continue. Do this to get a girl's attention, must watch, how to get women to notice you. Do this to get a girl's attention. Hey there, it's Pamela Raquel. Are you wondering how to catch a girl's attention in a way that is both effective and genuine? In today's video, we are focusing on just that. I will be sharing key actions and behaviors that can make you stand out and grab a girl's interest. From the power of engaging conversation to the impact of your presence, these tips are designed to make you more noticeable in the best way possible. And by the end of this video, you will have a clear strategy for drawing her attention and making a lasting impression. And remember, stick around until the end of the video for a very special bonus tip. It's an essential piece of advice that really brings together all of these points, enhancing your approach in a significant way. You won't want to miss it. Let's dive in. Show genuine interest in her life. A great way to start is by showing genuine interest in her life. Now, it's not just about asking questions, it's about the way that you do it. So let's dive into why this matters. People love talking about their passions and interests, and it's no different for the girl that you are interested in. Start by asking about her hobbies, favorite activities, or what excites her. Listen attentively when she speaks and show engagement by asking follow-up questions. This not only makes her feel valued but also helps you understand her better. Avoid making the conversation about yourself, keep the focus on her. Genuine curiosity about her life shows that you care about who she is, not just what she looks like. This approach is about building a connection based on mutual interests and understanding. Showing genuine interest in her life is effective because it creates a sense of importance and connection. It communicates that you value her as an individual, and when she sees that you are truly interested in knowing her well, it sets the foundation for a deeper and more meaningful interaction. Be a good listener. Next up is all about becoming a good listener. It's one thing to hear what she's saying, 
but another to really listen. So let's understand why active listening is a key element in capturing her attention and interest. Active listening goes beyond just hearing words, it's about understanding and responding appropriately when she talks. Focus on her words, her tone, and emotions. Show that you are engaged by nodding, maintaining eye contact, and not interrupting. Respond with thoughtful comments or questions that show you are processing what she's saying. This demonstrates that you value her opinions and feelings. Avoid distractions and make the conversation about understanding her better. Good listening skills indicate respect and a genuine interest in her as a person, which can significantly deepen your connection. Being a good listener is effective because it shows empathy and respect. It makes her feel heard and appreciated, creating a comfortable environment for open communication. This attentiveness is attractive and builds trust, laying the groundwork for a meaningful and respectful relationship. Engage in light flirting. The art of light flirting. Done right, flirting can be a fun way to show your interest. Remember, it's all about being playful and respectful. So let's break down how to flirt effectively. Flirting, when done in a light and respectful manner, can be a charming way to capture attention. It's all about creating a spark through playful teasing or subtle compliments. For instance, a gentle tease about her competitive nature in a game or a sincere compliment on her sense of humor can be endearing. The key is to keep it light and always be mindful of her reactions to ensure she is comfortable. Flirting should be about making her smile and laugh, not uncomfortable. It's an opportunity to show your witty and playful side, enhancing the connection between you both. Light flirting is effective because it adds a layer of excitement and playfulness to your interactions. It shows that you are interested in more than just friendship in a fun, non-threatening way. And when done respectfully, it can create a lively and enjoyable dynamic, setting the stage for a deeper mutual connection. Show your sense of humor. Now they say laughter is the best medicine, and it's also a great way to connect. Let's see why your natural sense of humor can be a key to making a lasting impression. Making her laugh is a wonderful way to draw attention. Humor can lighten the mood, break the ice, and show your personality. So share funny stories, make lighthearted comments, or even laugh at yourself in a humble way. Of course, the goal is to enjoy the moments and share a laugh together, not to impress her with your jokes. It's crucial that your humor is respectful and aligns with her sense of humor. A shared laugh can create an instant bond, showing her that you are fun to be around. It's about finding joy in your interactions and making her feel comfortable and entertained. Using your sense of humor effectively can create a memorable connection because it brings joy and ease into the conversation. Humor is a powerful tool for creating rapport, and when she associates you with laughter and good feelings, it naturally enhances your appeal and strengthens the bond between you. Show your intelligence. It's not just about what you know, but how you share it. Having stimulating conversations can be incredibly attractive. So let's explore how to showcase your intelligence without bragging. Intelligence is not just about academic achievements or professional success, it's also about your thoughts, ideas, and knowledge on various topics. So engage her in conversations that are thought-provoking and insightful. Share your insights on a book that you've read, a documentary you found fascinating, or your take on current events. The key is to keep the conversation two-sided, invite her views and listen genuinely. This shows that you value her intellect as well. So avoid turning it into a lecture or a chance to boast. The goal is to create an engaging exchange of ideas that stimulates both of your minds. Showing your intelligence by having meaningful conversations is effective because it demonstrates depth of character. It allows her to see someone who is not only interesting but also intellectually compatible. And this kind of interaction can lead to a stronger connection built on mutual respect and intellectual curiosity. Be active on social media. Our next point takes us to the digital world. Social media can be a great tool for connecting. Engaging with her online in a friendly and thoughtful way can make a positive impression. So let's delve into the right approach to this. Social media is a part of everyday life, and it can be a casual way to show your interest. Follow her posts and engage with them by leaving comments or reactions that are genuine and friendly. It could be a thoughtful comment on a photo she shared, or a friendly reaction to a status update. Sharing content that you genuinely find interesting and think she might enjoy is also a good way to connect. Remember, the key is to be engaging without being overbearing. 
Your interactions should be lighthearted and respectful, showing that you are interested in her life and what she shares. Engaging on social media is effective because it's a low-pressure way to show your interest and stay connected. It allows for regular, casual interactions that can build rapport. And thoughtful online engagement shows that you are paying attention to her life and interests, which can be flattering and encourages more direct communication. Bonus tip, cultivate confidence and self-esteem. Let's talk about something fundamental. Beyond specific actions, your inner confidence plays a crucial role. So let's see why it's important and how it impacts your interactions. Confidence is about being comfortable with who you are and showing it. It's about having a positive view of yourself and your abilities. So work on your self-esteem by engaging in activities that make you feel good, setting personal goals, and practicing self-compassion. When you feel confident, it naturally makes you more attractive. It affects your posture, your tone of voice, and how you interact with others. Confidence invites others to see the best in you. So remember, it's not just about trying to impress her, but also being a person that you are proud of. Cultivating confidence and self-esteem is valuable because it not only enhances how others perceive you but also improves your own life experience. A confident person is more likely to engage in meaningful conversations, make genuine connections, and handle rejection or setbacks in a healthy way. It's all about being your very best self. So now that you've mastered how to get a girl's attention, what's next? Well, avoid these pitfalls with things that you should never do for a woman, or learn the art of charm with gestures that girls cannot resist. Don't forget to hit like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more. If you've made it this far, my love, comment below with the word, 100%, or anything else to let me know, to confirm that you've received the knowledge from the video so far. For more interesting topics subscribe to the channel, let's continue. 20 uncontrollable signs she's overwhelmed by her feelings for you, does she like me? Hey there, it's Pamela Raquel. Today we're diving into a heart-stirring topic, the uncontrollable signs that a woman is overwhelmed by her feelings for you. These are more than just your everyday cues of affection, they are the deep, often involuntary reactions that come up when she's really caught up in her emotions. So, by the end of this video, you will be able to recognize these profound signs that signal her hidden deep feelings for you. Let's get started. Subtle fidgeting. When a woman is overwhelmed by her feelings for you, she might display an increase in subtle fidgeting behaviors. This could be anything from playing with her hair more frequently to adjusting her clothing or jewelry. These actions often reflect an unconscious response to nervous energy and excitement in your presence. It's a physical manifestation of the whirlwind of emotions that she's experiencing within. Excessive complimenting. Overwhelmed by her feelings, she might frequently compliment you, even on mundane or routine aspects. This is her way of expressing admiration and keeping the connection alive. These compliments are often heartfelt and indicate that she's paying close attention to you, noticing and appreciating every little detail. Involuntary smiling. You might catch her smiling to herself when she thinks about you or during interactions. This involuntary reaction is a clear sign of the joy and happiness that your presence brings her. It's an uncontrollable expression stemming from the deep and possibly confusing feelings that she harbors. A sudden change in conversation topics. She might abruptly change conversation topics to avoid revealing too much or getting too personal. It could be because she's trying to navigate her overwhelming feelings and she's unsure of how much she should be disclosing. This often happens when she's on the verge of saying something very close to her heart but pulls back out of fear or uncertainty. Eager to please. Now there might be an increased effort on her part to please or impress you. This can manifest in various ways, from her being more agreeable to your suggestions to going out of her way to do things for you. This eagerness to please is often rooted in a desire to strengthen the bond and a fear of losing the connection she values so deeply. Forgetting simple things. When a woman is overwhelmed by her feelings for you, her mind might be so consumed by thoughts of you that she becomes more forgetful. So you could notice her misplacing things or forgetting simple tasks when you're together. This absent-mindedness is a common sign of being deeply emotionally involved and distracted by intense feelings. Voice changes. Another subtle but telling sign is a change in her voice. You might observe her voice becoming softer or gentler when she's speaking to you. This shift often happens unconsciously and is a response to the strong emotion she feels in your presence. It's as if her voice betrays her inner state, revealing the depth of her affection and nervousness. Overthinking responses. 
If she seems to take a bit longer than usual to respond during conversations, it might be because she's overthinking her words. She wants to say the right thing, not just to keep the conversation going but also to express herself accurately without revealing too much. This overanalysis of her responses can be a direct result of the overwhelming feeling she has for you. Heightened empathy. Heightened empathy towards you is a significant indicator of deep emotional feelings. It's likely because you mean a lot to her, she's emotionally invested and thus more sensitive to your mood, your feelings, and needs. This level of empathy suggests that her feelings extend far beyond the surface level, encompassing a deep and compassionate understanding of who you are. Stumbling over words. When a woman is overwhelmed by her feelings for you, it's common for her to struggle with articulating her thoughts. She might stumble over her words, pause awkwardly, or lose her train of thought mid-sentence when talking to you. This phenomenon occurs because her emotions are running so high, and she's likely trying to impress you or worried about how she's actually coming across, causing her to falter in her speech. Being more clumsy. An increase in clumsiness or awkwardness around you is another telltale sign. She might drop things, bump into furniture, or spill her drink. This behavior is not just a result of nervousness, it's a physical manifestation of her being mentally and emotionally preoccupied with you. Her mind is just so focused on you and how she feels about you that it actually affects her physical coordination. Intense reactions to physical contact. Pay attention to her reactions to any physical contact, no matter how slight. If she seems startled or has an unusually pronounced response to a casual touch, like a quick intake of breath, a visible shiver, or prolonged physical contact, it's a strong indicator of her heightened emotional state around you. These reactions suggest that she's highly aware of your physical presence, and even a slight touch can trigger intense feelings. Deep sighing. If she sighs more often around you, this can indicate a mix of emotions and thoughts that she's dealing with. Sighing can be a sign of emotional turmoil, deep contemplation, or longing. It's a subconscious release of the emotional weight that she's carrying, a mixture of affection, uncertainty, and the overwhelming nature of her feelings towards you. This nonverbal cue is often overlooked but can be a profound indicator of the depth of her emotions. Rapid breathing. When a woman is overwhelmed by her feelings, it's common for her to exhibit signs of nervous excitement or agitation, one of which is rapid breathing. You might notice that when she's near you or engaged in a conversation with you, her breaths become quicker and more shallow. This physiological response is often involuntary and is a result of the adrenaline rush and heightened emotions she feels in your presence. Seeking out your presence. Subconsciously seeking out your presence is a significant sign. Even if she doesn't engage directly with you, she might find reasons to be in the same room or physical space as you are. This behavior indicates a strong desire to be near you, driven by her feelings. It's her way of feeling connected to you, even if it's just sharing the same environment, hinting at the depth of the emotional attraction. Unintentional mirroring. When a woman is overwhelmed by her feelings, she may start to subconsciously mirror your gestures, your movement, or your posture. This mirroring is a psychological phenomenon that occurs when someone feels a strong connection with another person. It's a nonverbal way of showing empathy and rapport. So if you notice her adopting your body language during conversations or mimicking your actions, it could be an uncontrollable manifestation of her deep affection and emotional alignment with you. Looking dazed or daydreaming. Another sign is when she seems to be lost in thoughts or daydreaming, especially after interactions with you. This behavior indicates that her mind is occupied with you to the point where it spills over into her outward demeanor. It's as if she's so caught up in her feelings that she momentarily disconnects from her immediate surroundings, reflecting the intensity of her emotional state. Talking faster. A noticeable increase in the speed of her speech when she's talking to you can be an indication of her overwhelming feelings. This increase in pace is often due to a mix of excitement and nervousness. It's a sign that she's eager to communicate with you, of course, and her emotions are accelerating her natural speech patterns. It's actually an involuntary response to the adrenaline and emotional arousal she experiences in your presence. A visible heartbeat. In certain intimate or close moments, you might observe a visible increase in her heartbeat, noticeable through her chest movements or pulse points. This physiological sign is a clear indicator of the physical impact of her emotions. A faster heartbeat in your presence suggests a strong emotional and physical response to you, often associated with attraction and deep feelings. So you've seen the signs, but now let's take the next steps. 
Check out the types of text messages that make her day or find out the questions she really asks when she's into you. Thanks for tuning in. Like, comment with your experiences, and of course, don't forget to subscribe.